One story that really caught our attention today came from Immigration and Customs Enforcement. In the past year, that agency says it has deported nearly 400,000 people. That's a record. So what happens when someone is kicked out of the U.S.? Seth Doan followed one man on a long trip home. Tell me what you're feeling right now. My heart's pounding. After 13 I, years I, in the United States, Ives Lopez it, has just three hours left here because he's being forced to leave. He's taking just legal papers, a Bible, and the clothes on his back and leaving behind so much more. This is my kids. Angelina is three, daughter Natalia just two. Both are U.S. citizens. They, along with his American fiance, will all stay in Florida while Lopez is deported. Sometimes I start crying because I'm missing everything, basically. On this night, Lopez is one of about 80 Hondurans to be sent home. The average length of stay here is 30 days. Randall Henderson with Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, runs this sprawling detention facility in Pearsall, Texas, where illegal immigrants are processed before they're deported, as many as 120 at a time. On this day, detainees from 64 countries fill the cells. And we have approximately 38% of the detainees have known criminal backgrounds. 62% of the detainees are here for immigration violations. Evis Lopez has both, convicted of drug possession charges and deported once before. Why keep coming back? It's for my kids. Lopez and the other Hondurans board what's called ICE Air, a virtual airline run by the U.S. government that flies anywhere in the world. 160,000 people were deported by these private charters last year at the cost of about $750 each. That's around $120 million. I really don't know what to do once I get there. So I even got a headache just to think about everything, like what I'm going to do. Landing in Honduras, those once in shackles walk free. But Evis Lopez hardly feels liberated. He heads to visit his blind grandmother, the only family he has here. Abuelita. But it's clear Lopez's mind is already on another reunion. Well, I'm going to spend some time with my grandma and then just go back. Back to the U.S.? Yeah. That would be his third trip back to America, one of the 11 million undocumented migrants in the U.S who are part of an endless cycle of immigration and deportation. Seth Doan, CBS News, San Pedro Sula, Honduras.